Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. This week, we're looking at the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And we're asking the question, what does Jesus have to say about hell? That's right. Jesus, in the Sermon on the Mount, that beautiful, wonderful sermon, talks about hell and tells us who is in danger of hell, and He wants to motivate us. He wants us motivated by His love, His mercy, His grace, His beautiful sacrifice. But if that's not enough, then He'll use the horrors of hell to motivate us to serve Him. And in Matthew chapter 5, verse number 27, Jesus tells us, listen, if you trifle with sin, you're in danger of hell fire. Back in verse number 22, he talks about hell as a place of torment, hell fire. And notice what he says in verse number 27. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. And so he's saying, you, you need to look over here. You know, you, you're not going to really commit adultery with her physically, but you do in your heart. You're just kind of dancing around the subject. Notice what he says about this. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. If, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Don't you play around with sin? Don't you think you can just dance around the edges of it? Just say to yourself, well, I didn't actually commit the act. He says, you've got to make sure you're, poor, you're pure because if you don't, you run the risk of going to hell. Verse number 30, And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Do you understand what Jesus is saying? If you went to the doctor and the doctor says, You have a very serious uh, case of cancer, but we can treat it but we have to act aggressively. I can guarantee you that we can eradicate it from your body, but we must amputate your foot. Uh, you wouldn't particularly be thrilled about losing your foot, but the doctor says to you, you need to understand, if we don't amputate your foot and do it now, you're going to die of this horrible disease. And Jesus is saying to you that if you trifle with sin, if you play around with it, you're going to lose your soul. You're going to die spiritually from this horrible disease called sin, and you better deal with it in a decisive manner. Mm, Jesus believes in hell. We need to believe in hell, and we need to deal seriously with sin. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.